how you breathe. If you're what's called a chest breather and you're predominantly taking shallow breaths and you're under stress, as all those examples I've just given, you'll shallow breathe at an even greater frequency. So each single breath is not efficient because you're not taking a full breath where you might breathe from you from your stomach right into your chest and take a, take a full breath. Now a full breath would be more oxygen, more oxygen in would break down more food. Why do people do cardio or more and more exercise? It's to burn calories by breathing more, breathing more heavily, bringing in more air, bringing in more oxygen to break down the food. So one easy way to break down the food and increase your calorie burning or what I could call your metabolism would be learning how to breathe properly. So not breathing properly, is also a part of why you may not be losing fat. That can then relate back to your exercise. Now, you could be doing lots of exercise with faulty breathing, but you could also be just not exercising. And daily movement is a, a natural requirement. It's, it's what a human being does, they move every day. And that first movement is breath. So once you learn to breathe, and then you start to focus on your breath on a daily basis, you're naturally moving, then you start to have a bit more energy by taking in more air, you've got the energy to do more exercise, and as you start to do more exercise, maybe it starts to become more daily. That exercise that's more daily can then start to help you cope with different stress, because when you create a stress response to whether it's bad food, heavy metal, someone shouting at you, someone cutting you up in a waterway, whatever it happens to be, you need to burn that stress off. But all the stresses I've just rattled off all add up, and you've got no real way of dissipating any of those stressors. But like naturally, you would be in a stressful situation like someone's coming to eat someone, <laughs> something, an animal's coming to eat you. So what do you do? You run for the hills or you try and kill it, ultimately with a plan to eat it. So you have a very stressful situation, you fight the stress, you burn off the stress and then you relax and recover afterwards. And that doesn't happen if throughout the day you've got all these different stressors coming at you and you don't exercise. Or when you do, your body's not functioning properly, so you exercise and you try to push yourself really hard under a lot of stress. You've not taken in full breathing. You could argue, looking at that whole story, that you've got exercise coming into a stress system and that exercise is creating more stress. So you need to look at all these things together. Most of them can be assessed and we know where you are as an individual and then you can plot a sort of support and repair plan that's based on how you function looking at stress, heavy metals, environmental toxins, different lifestyle choices, poor, poor food choices, um, faulty breathing, the lack of daily exercise. All that comes together to add up to a stressed individual who's not functioning properly, therefore you're not healthy and a healthy person's not going to lose fat.